Well, this is it. This is what exactly? This was my room. I used to live here, or used to be a patient here, but I guess you kind of figured that out already. Uh, I mean, the thought crossed my mind, but I never really knew for sure. Why were you here? Oh, come on, you see my medical history. Obviously, you know I have some issues. And I've had them for a pretty long time. How long are we talking? As long as I can remember. Well, my, my mom brought me here when I was really young, but she never told me exactly why. You never asked her? She's never really around to ask. And the doctors would never tell me to my face either, but I'd always hear them say things like violent episodes or delusions, you know, stuff you can't just tell a little kid. And they ran all kinds of tests and pinned just about every disorder you could think of on me at some point or another. And they settled on schizophrenia eventually, but I don't even think they knew for sure. I was on a lot of medication most of the time I was here. I got used to it after a while. And it helped. But not enough. What do you mean? Well, one of the problems I was having was hallucinations. I had a lot of them. Part of me knew they weren't real, but that still didn't make them go away. I Maybe mean, I just didn't want them to at the time. At one point they got so bad I kept escaping from my room. I'd hide in the maintenance tunnel or run off to Rosswood Park, which you know isn't that far away from here. And whenever they would find me, I would say that I was hiding from whatever it was I was seeing, so they'd bring me back and they didn't have much of a choice except to lock me in here. That's when it was at its worst. I'd be clawing at the walls and screaming at all hours of the night. I had to up my doses just to calm me down to the point where I was almost numb. But these hallucinations, what did they look like? Well, that's the thing, I can't remember any of them. Probably because of the medication. It didn't cure me exactly, but it kind of leveled me out enough that I was able to you know, go to a normal school, got transferred to another facility, got into college. That's where I met Brian, the first real friend I remember having. That's where you met Alex too, right? Yeah. When I saw that footage that you got from him, and that person in the background, or whatever it was, I couldn't help but think, you know, what if that's what I was seeing when I was in here? You know, what if that wasn't a hallucination at all? Wait, what are you trying to say? I'm saying, what if this is my fault? Alex could be a normal person, you could be living a normal life, so could Jessica, so could everybody else if it wasn't for me. I have no way of knowing that for sure, that's always going to be in the back of my mind. How am I supposed to handle that? I I don't think shifting the blame is really going to help anyone right now. I blamed everybody else except for me, and I could be the one that started this. I think you just need to relax, because all the stress is probably making you really paranoid. Well, what if I'm right? <sighs> what if what happened to me is happening to Alex right now? I don't know, but I do know that you're not like him, not entirely anyway. He's not running around in the woods with a mask on at night. No, but you're not pointing a gun at me right now either. <laughs> That's it. No more secrets. It's kind of a lot to take in at once. Come on, 
we should we should go. Unless there's anything else you want to show me. Believe me, I really want to go, but I feel like there's something else here that we're missing. And if there is, I don't want to have to come back here again looking for it. Like what? Well, you found those papers of mine. What if there's more somewhere? Like some kind of filing room, maybe. Do you know where something like that would be? Possibly. I can always go look. Will you know it if you see it? Probably. It's worth a shot. Yeah. All right, if you want to, we can, we can go look. desk.
This way. Come on. So what now? This close. We were this close. How can he just disappear like that? No, I don't know. He probably hid in the woods and we walked right by him. Maybe he got ahead of us. Maybe he's on the other side of that hill somewhere. So. Or maybe he's anywhere. I mean, look around. So what are we supposed to do? Just go home and forget about it? I mean, we have this. All right, that makes me feel better. I feel a lot better. I'm just go back and wait for him to show up at my house again.